Hello friends. Um, thank you for a tremendous response for the Patreon and other um, inputs and my work and following. <clears throat> and thank you for your efforts in following Patreon which helps me to really reach out to charitable organizations at the end of the day after paying their dues and their fees. <clears throat> so there's a lot of interest I find among trying to understand what are the gharanas and what is the different kinds of music etc in 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 classical music so it's a short little uh, kind of a lecture uh, you can't call it a lecture there'll be some demos uh, there's a lot out there but i just want to bring out that it's not necessary for us to be like a musicologist trying to look into each of these areas and to find out more of course you're most welcome to do that if you're interested but to bring out the salient features and highlight them so that you can understand the music when you listen to so let's take Indian classical music it's two different forms one is the Drupad and one is the Khayal Drupad obviously has been the older one much much older maybe two millennium before um, ahead and and uh, all these have been through vocal because at that time instruments were not invented and people said oh my god i'll make a sitar i'll do this i'll do the wire i'll do this to compound sit down and let's just uh, uh, this is your best instrument so drupal actually has four different Karanas itself, if you can call it. They are Gauharvani, Khandarvani, then you have Dagarvani, and you have Nauharvani. So, Gauharvani. It is basically associated with Haveli Sangeet and different, um, you know, princely states and things like that. What was the great thing about Drupa? Long, straight means and slow. So you'd have <laughs> extremely relaxing. The other one <clears throat> is called Khandar Vani, which is basically highly majestic. It's got heavy use of gamak and intensive use of gamak. And they did not have any harmony. They didn't believe in having a sarangi with them or a harmonium or anything. They just sang themselves. So it will be same thing what I sang before. Be, <laughs> right. You then have Nohar. Noharvani basically is fast jerky passages, variety of different kinds of gamaks with an element of surprise built in. And normally it's always played in the, the, the dhamar. Typically, drupas are played with chautal, which is the 12 beat. Um, so you have a similar composition like this. You'll have I told you like they use this kind of stuff a lot. Finally, you come to my most favorite one, which is the Dagarwani. Dagarwani is basically attributed to, you know, Bharat Muni. <clears throat> and it's got curvilinear means, delicate, beautiful intonation, and always played with Chautal. So you love right delicate beautiful different stuff some of them you can listen to 
Uday Bhavalkar, but also a tremendous rise of beautiful, great Drupad singers in the West, like Alan Burns, Jason Steen, and you have Chris Doddridge. If you ever listen to these, you will see a beautiful amalgamation, and all of them have come from vocal traditions in the West. Some of them have come to India and pledged their whole life to learn it, and so beautiful. And they have kept Drupad alive all over the world, in the West especially. Drupad has a special place in people's in the world today and it's a huge rescue by the West. And they brought out something which was hidden and they brought showcased it beautifully and kept it very nicely in their cupboards. So now let us go and let us look at the different gharanas. <coughs> Kaya. So Khayal from the Drupad from the other places they came on to you know singing in courts or singing and enthralling people and things like that and <clears throat> otherwise people are saying and Drupad is a very fixed kind of form. So Khayal had a lot of liberty and as people wanted variety it moved on to Khayal Gayaki. So Khayal is <clears throat> typically the Gwalior Gharana. Gwalior Gharana is where everything started. The Maharaja of Gwalior <coughs> was himself a musician and he gave a lot of emphasis. And he had musicians in the court, he looked after them very well, he paid them, he made sure that they had a beautiful life and they could lead properly and they could dedicate themselves to the music. So what is so great about Gwalior Gharana? <coughs> Gwalior Gharana is very tuneful very nice. If you hear Divi Paliskar or if you hear Kumar Gandharva, you will see that it's got kind of a free-flowing attitude. So you have, let's say, One thing which we must remember is that these gharanas actually really grew because things were isolated. So each of these artists could, in isolation, develop them all together. There was absolutely, if you wanted to come from one geographical area to the other geographical area, even to share the cultural part or know how people live or what they talk, was like a few months it would take. As a result of which, there was no attempt for standardization. It was really, really very, very extremely uh, nice. And it grew. If it was today, which is standardization, which everybody's talking to everyone, media, you can see what, I can see you, you can see him. Probably these would have got polarized. You next come to a gharana called Jaipur gharana. Here, it is less of text and more of melody. And the bandishas are such that it really creates a tremendous amount of tension. Let's say in the Intal, first eight to nine beats he will, and then he'll resolve it towards the end of the second or third vivag. So, da -da 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 -da. so it's that kind of cyclical thing. And Kishori Amonkar or Kesher by Kerkar, they're very famous for all that. And they are more on a a a kar, very less on text. So you will find a concept called Tarana. So this is called taranas. There's no particular meaning in tana, mana, mana and all that. But they have they have kind of articulated it so that the sound quality remains beautiful. Lyrics were not that important. You then come to another gharana called Agra gharana which was by Fayaz Khan, which first person who started with low pitch and is a lot of text word play. So same bandish if you take, for example, or you take I don't like it. Ah. So this is a kind of stuff they use a lot in Agra Karana. 
another gharana which i am going to stop there <laughs> kirana gharana was abdul karim khan they was highly sound and surila they were actually architects of very less repertoire they didn't have 10000 drugs in their kitty they had few because they believed i want to go deeper into the swara so you would have bhimshen joshi or you would have amir khan who are our 20th century ones and yes it would be really wonderful to really listen to them so you would have things like tana they would choose tals like tilwada 16 beats but is with no definitive sum very silent sum like in tin tal you have da din din da da din din da na tin tin na ti ti din din da hello tilwada is very silent listen to the tilwada sometimes the cycle so they could float in and out and they had few rags like todi and malcons with a lot of space you can rest anywhere you want you can do they were the 5 7 8 10 beautiful rags which are worth playing right so in short this is this is what the gharana is all about from here off shooted lot of things from gwalior came lot of this gwalior asod then jaipur atrauli then you had um, uh, bhindi bazaar then you had lot of other you know branching out but in short this is enough for you to understand so re rewind it i think i've given you some few examples i'm not a great singer but and again there's a lot out there please don't get involved with that my personal advice understand what they're doing like understand what the singer is doing and what is it mm, this guy is doing mm, maybe he's oh he's jaipur gharana i know okay because he's not using much text this guy is using a lot of word play oh he's agra gharana okay these gharanas are just names to styles to unique styles which each of these schools bring out so i hope this will be good enough for you guys for more 12 to 10 12 minutes browse through the video just listen to it carefully off and on forward wind it don't take notes don't take it so seriously just understand that there are so many different ways and styles of expressing oneself you take care have a wonderful day and a wonderful wonderful music evening bye